Hello friends, welcome to video tuition. In my previous Silk Mobile tutorial, we have seen how Silk Mobile records and executes script on real mobile device. If you have not checked that out, here is the link to Silk Mobile demo tutorial. Now, today in another Silk Mobile training video, I am showing you how Silk Mobile scripts can be exported to other widely used automation tools like UFT and Selenium WebDriver to test mobile application on real mobile device. One of the most important features of Silk Mobile is the capability of exporting code to other environments like UFT, Selenium WebDriver, RFT, test complete etc for readily execution with minimal changes in code. To export this silk mobile script say for UFT which is most known automation tool, open the test which is recorded and already executed through silk mobile. Then go to code view located right next to log view and choose UFT VB script option from the drop down. Click on the copy to clipboard button. That's it. Now we have the code executable from UFT environment. Launch UFT and paste the code retrieved from Silk Mobile. Now click on run button to start the execution. Mostly without making any changes, you should be able to execute VBScript code from UFT. In some cases, you may need to modify a script for seamless execution. UFT test execution is comparatively slower than Silk Mobile execution due to the fact that the code is actually being written in Silk Mobile. However, the code can be optimized to have faster execution. Now you see UFT script execution is completed on mobile device. Let's again go back to Silk Mobile to fetch Selenium WebDriver code for the same test. To do so, go to Code View again and choose Java WebDriver option from the drop down. Click on Copy to Clipboard button. Now the code is copied in Clipboard which further can be pasted on Java IDE for Selenium execution. Before you actually run WebDriver script created in Silk Mobile, you must integrate Silk Mobile with Java environment. This integration is performed by associating mentioned Silk Mobile jar files to your Java project. These jar files are located in Silk Mobile installation directory. Launch Eclipse and create new Java project along with the class. Once the class is created under Java project, paste the code there which we have copied from Silk Mobile code view. Just make sure your Java class name is same as that of the name of main class mentioned in the code. Now when all the errors are removed, Selenium WebDriver code is ready for execution. Click on run button to start the execution. WebDriver script execution will be started and execution can be monitored in real mobile device. You will observe that WebDriver execution is faster than UFT test execution. Runtime execution status can be tracked in console tab located right below code editor. In this tutorial, we have seen how Silk Mobile integrates with UFT and Selenium WebDriver for mobile automation test execution. As I mentioned before, Silk Mobile also provides integration with other environments like RFT, Test Complete, C Sharp and more. Try it out by yourself and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for your time and watching this tutorial. 
If you like this video, please do click on like button and share it with your friends. You would also like to subscribe to my channel and visit my website flashing on screen for getting the latest update. Once again, thanks.